Hi guys, it's me again and this is you asked and I answered. Okay, today as a request from one of my subscribers, I'm going to be doing the wet makeup look. I'm just going to be doing the eyes to show you what is normally done in photography. And I'm going to be using my Yabby's. These are the Yabby Brights, the cream base. Let me close the lid. Love Yabby. And you can use that cream base. You can try it with a powder, but I think it's best since you're gonna we're gonna be doing that wet look, cream on cream. You know the sh the, the the type of um, gloss. And I'm gonna be using a lip gloss because normally we use Vaseline, but if you're gonna be taking it outside, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging because it's gonna be runny. All right. So what you see in the photographs is Vaseline being applied to the eye to give it that shimmery look. Okay, so I'm going to use my face atelier and it's, it, it, it tends to help with the intensity of the application. It's going to run over my brows with a little powder just to make sure. Well, it's cream actually. But this is cream to powder. It, it's very flexible. It can be done either way. Okay, let me just put this here. And we have to get to blending. Creating a little smoky eye effect. This. Sometimes you're going to need more than one brush just to work it out. You know, just play around with it. Key is not to have hard edges. Okay. can go as intense as you want. I'm going to be doing a session on blending and I'm going to show you what is, you know, depict the hard edges. It all depends on the type of makeup you're going for. See? Alright, I'm going to do the next eye. This is, a, this is just like a basic smoky eye. And this going to be showing how to you pat on right? and you just pat it on you work down to the lash line can you see I'm just going to get another brush just to work it in it's always good to blend with a clean brush see me? I'm just blending See the edges in a circular motion. See? Okay. Good. Work it out. Make sure it's blended. The edges are blended. You can add to the effect. You just want to make sure it's, you know, that effect that you're going for. And if you want to build the intensity, just add more. Just take your time. Start, as I say, it's best to start with less and then add easier. Trust me on that one. Hmm. Okay. Need to wear a smoky eye a little bit more often. Okay, and you see you go here. And for dimension you can use browns in here. It all depends on what you're going for. Make sure you have a clean brush and work it in. Work it in. And you want to go under the eye just to give it that complete look. Use brown. You can you can play with browns and purples, you know. Makeup is fun along the eye line here using the powder just to smudge it out of it I'm stopping right here because I have small eyes this building setting it meet you notice I'm making it see I'm 
I'm not going to go into too much detail with this right now because we're just really focusing on getting that wet look. I'm going to do another tutorial on the smoky eye. Let's get it in there and let's re blend just to make sure everything is looking okay. And let me just let's lighten in here a little bit. Just a, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because you know, once you have small eyes, you don't want to br make bring the dark colors to you know just, just a little bit. Okay. All right. So we're gonna try and see what happens when we use the glass. Okay. See, so I'm squirting it out. I'm using the NYC gloss, and you can use your MAC lip glass, anyone. Try and see which one works. Some are stickier, some are runny. And let's see how it works. It's gonna layer it on for that wet look. See it? And it's, it stays. It's gonna go all the way up. And then I'm going to close my eyes so you can get a better view of the, the look, okay? This is a fun makeup look. You're doing a nice photo shoot. The lip gloss works better because if you're going out. And I guess it would work better under the lights as well because you know, as models, they have to stand under these bright lights, and it does run, so I guess this is better. Are you seeing it? I hope you are. Okay. Let me try and bring it up further. Don't know. Mess up the... Seeing it? Okay. Okay, that's it for our wet look. And if you want to get the face looking really moist, I would suggest using a more of a cream blusher than a powder blusher because it doesn't have that powder effect. And you can use a little shimmer just to give it that look. Or if you're not gonna, you don't wanna have too much going on, you could do the eyes and then a glossy lip. Let me just gloss my lip a bit. Why not? So. And there you have it girls. This make sure you have your brows highlighted. And there you go. And that's it for the wet look and if you have any ideas I'm gonna be doing another video coming up soon this week on how to create a more defined brow if you have you know thin brows how you can build upon it and the, the steps you can take to get that natural effect so you don't want it to look artificial so stay tuned hit me up on my blog if you have any questions I'll answer it I'll make videos check me out and let's have fun making makeup okay Thank you again. This is Sharada signing out. Bye.